What's up guys, welcome back. Today I have a real treat for you in the recently released Intense Darius Burst Another Chronicle X Plus for Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. The latest release in the Darius lineup of games and I dare say it stands head and shoulders above the rest. Remember when I said that the Darius Cosmic Collection Arcade Edition is the package to go for? Well, even though it is still one of the finest shooters out there, it is overshadowed by this powerhouse of a release by Taito. So without further ado, here we go. True to the tradition of launching Darius games exclusively in collections, Darius Burst Another Chronicle X Plus is basically four games in one. You have the option of playing through the original mode, something which you've come to expect from Darius games, simply put levels with boss battles. Then there is the original X mode, which picks up where the original mode ends and is much harder to go through, but so much more rewarding once you've gotten the hang of it. Then there is the Chronicle mode, riddled with missions and objectives, which is a nice touch, but nothing too compelling. Yet the event mode is a real gem. It is much more enticing because of the real world time limited challenges only ever available in the arcades and now readily available for you to play wherever, whenever. Overall though, the games or rather versions in this collection pretty much stay true to the Darius formula of long dynamic levels ending in boss battles after which there is a forking path level setup, allowing you to create a different playthrough each and every time. The persistent power-up system is as can be expected, but a new addition is the burst mechanic, which does come in handy at best and is vital in other cases. Another very, very welcome addition is the ability to freely mirror the direction of your ship and your guns, allowing you to fly by, flip the controls around and blast that sucker out of space before continuing your way across the galaxy. When entering a level there is a great variety of ships at your disposal, celebrating the rich history of Darius games. The levels themselves are challenging, although nothing too difficult to navigate, but gorgeous level designs nonetheless. Although these games are tough as nails, it is easy enough to clear the levels because of virtually unlimited lives, but extremely difficult to clear challenges and set high scores as those require near perfect runs. That said, it is not a pick up and play kind of game. This requires grinding it out to learn the patterns, different types of enemies, timing of bosses and subsequent movesets and all that. Speaking of bosses, Darius Burst Another Chronicle X Plus features some stunning boss introductions and in-game transformations. Something which would have made me jump up from my seat out of excitement had I been in one of those coveted arcade cabinets. In fact, these are the arcade cabinets I genuinely would want to travel to Japan for and experience it first hand and I will at some point for sure. One of my favorite boss battles is the one called Dual Spin, which features two bosses at the same time making for one hell of a fight, really utilizing that flip mechanic. Navigating the levels and going head to head with these bosses feels absolutely badass when you weave your way through waves of bullets, light beams, obstacles, enemies and other projectiles coming at you whilst you get your shots in head bobbing to the beat of the music. And the music in this game is top notch, really surging you onwards, easily the best OST in the Darius universe. My favorite track is a no brainer called Hello 31337 by Hisayoshi Ogura, used in this boss fight against this giant mecha wheel. I love it. Fun fact, this track is his only contribution to this OST, even though he composed all of the music for all of the previous Darius games. Not only does this game feature the best music so far, 
It also features the best graphics any Darius game has seen so far, and Darius Burst Another Chronicle X Plus for Nintendo Switch is a perfect port. No frame drops, no slowdowns, no visual downgrades of any kind. And to really appreciate that artwork, here's a tip, something you won't find in the manual. I did find out that by pressing the ZL button, you'll be able to zoom in on your ship, making it a full screen experience, allowing you to fully appreciate the artwork and speed of the movements, but unfortunately it doesn't do well in terms of anticipating incoming fire. Last but not least, in the options menu you'll have the option of selecting different arcade cabinet seats, something I've been scratching my head over as there are no visual implications. So far the only impact I have found upon selecting any of these is the available star systems in the chronicle mode. But feel free to enlighten me and drop a comment in the section down below if I have missed out on anything, I am all ears. And with that guys, I am signing off. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed the ride and that I might have inspired you to pick up this intense shoot em up. If I have, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here and I will see you next time.